I'm here at the beautiful and historical site of Beit Shamal, a monastery which Christians believe is the burial site of St. Stephen. Beit Jamal was named after Rabban Gamliel, Gamliel the Elder, who served as the president of the Sanhedrin in the first century. Rabban Gamliel was the grandson of Hillel, one of the most important figures in Jewish history. In a very unique and warm symbol of interfaith friendship, the monastery also maintains a synagogue on its grounds for use by Jewish visitors. These two facts offer a glimpse into the complicated and overlapping history of this holy land, and they give me hope for the future. I have hope for the future because I know that interfaith friendship is a key part of the strong bonds between Americans and Israelis. However, standing here today, I am reminded that attacks on religious minorities can happen anywhere. I want to condemn in the strongest possible terms the multiple vandalism attacks on the monastery and its cemetery that have occurred here over the past several years. Sadly, similar attacks have occurred in many countries throughout the world, and it is incumbent upon everyone who believes in religious freedom to defend religious minorities and punish those who would attack them. Today is Ash Wednesday, the start of a period of fasting, reflection, and penitence for many of our Christian brothers and sisters. It's an appropriate time to think about all we can do to protect and defend religious minorities and religious freedoms. Let's all live and worship together in peace.